Hi everyone. I wanted to do a quick video on unconditioned motivating operations and conditioned motivating operations. I'm Katherine Kellogg from Ready Set ABA, and this is part of our series, ABA Made Easy. So I'm gonna share my screen and we will do a whiteboard lesson. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, when we hear the term unconditioned and conditioned in ABA, we have to think of unlearned and learned. So first, let's break this down. Just like an unconditioned reinforcement or unconditioned punishment, we want to think of something that is more of a reflex. Reflexive behavior, something that is unlearned. Versus when we think of conditions in ABA, it's something that has been paired. It's something that is learned. And this is also a part of our ABC contingency. So there's been an antecedent stimulus that has been presented in the environment, a behavior happens, and then whatever consequence happens afterwards has reinforced the behavior. We've learned and associated these environmental conditions with certain things. When we have the, the MO piece of this, so we have our unlearned and our learned terms, then we have our motivating operation. And this is the MO. It's something that motivates our behavior. What influences our behavior? What are some internal thoughts, feelings, whether it's physiological or mental feelings that we have that are evoking or eliciting our behavior? So first let's categorize those two terms. When we have elicit, that happens on the unconditioned category. So this is our respondent behavior, our classical conditioning versus conditioning we have evoke. Okay, so our motivating operation, this is something like hunger. We have thirst. We might even have anxiety. Okay, we also maybe have some painful stimulation. We also have some avoidance, avoiding certain situations that have been learned. So if we wanted to categorize these motivating operations, we could think, are these learned or unlearned? And that's how we're going to determine if it's a UMO or a CMO. So let's look at this. If we wanted to go ahead and draw hunger and thirst, well, they're going to be unconditioned. Anxiety also is something that we can't control. It's unconditioned. Then Pain is also, so look, all of these so far, avoidance behavior is oftentimes a conditioned MO. It depends. There are certain things that will evoke uh, these feelings of anger or anxiety, and we've learned that these situations have been paired with negative events. In that case, it could be CMO. There are three types of CMOs that I'll do in another video, but until then, just kn knowing the basics are really between if something is learned or unlearned when we're talking about UMOs and CMOs.